Hey, this is Adam from Figmatic, and today I'm going to be showing you how to export animated banners from Figma to WebM video files uh, in one click using the Bannerify plugin. So if you haven't already done so, you'll need to install the plugin by going up to the top left-hand corner of the Figma app and clicking on the little Figma icon. And if you go down to Community uh, or Plugins, and then if you search for the word Bannerify, so that's B-A-N-N-E-R-I-F-Y, and then just click on the plugins tab and you'll see a result called Bannerify pop right up. And if you haven't already done so, you can go over to the right hand side here and there'll be an install button. If you just click on that install button, it'll change it to look like mine where it says installed and has a little check mark on it. And when you see it change to look like mine, uh, that means you're ready to go and you can jump back into your Figma project. So today I'm just going to be using a banner set that I designed as a bit of an example to use with this plugin. And uh, the first thing we need to do is just right click anywhere, go down to plugins and click on Bannerify in your plugin list. And that will start up the plugin that we just installed. So what this is gonna do is it's going to look through all of our layers on the left hand side here, and it's gonna treat every parent frame as its own banner. So each, each of these frames is treated as, treated as its own banner. And then if you open up the layers list, uh, you'll see that those correlate to the layers uh, in all of our banners inside of the plugin. So each of those layers can be animated. And uh, as you can see here, I've already got some animations set up. If I just click on the little preview, you can see it animating over here. Um, so I've set these up before, but you can set up the animations any way you want. Uh, I'm not going to go into detail about setting up animations in this video, um, but I do have another in-depth video on it on the YouTube channel. So if you just browse for uh, the animation video on Bannerify, uh, you'll be able to get a full deep dive into how to set up the animations and uh, the most efficient way to uh, do that. But today I'm just going to be assuming that you've already set up the animations in Bannerify the way that you want. And now you just want to export them to some WebM video files from Figma. Um, so we can do that really easily just by clicking on this button up here in the top header called export to GIF and video. So if you click on that button, you'll see uh, this little module pop out, this little feature, which is letting us export our banners to a GIF or a WebM video uh, from Figma using the plugin. So it's just letting us know that these banners are gonna be played through in real time and rendered out. So you're gonna get a zip file once it's complete. And there's a couple of options here that we can set up. Uh, the first one is related to GIFs only. Uh, I'm not gonna be covering GIFs in this video, but I do have another video showing an example of that if you do wanna see that uh, on the YouTube channel. Uh, so I'm gonna leave that option uh, off for now because it won't impact what we're doing today. Um, the next option is just output quality. So this little slider will change the quality and the file size of your export. So if you set it to a lower uh, number, a lower setting, it's gonna mean that the quality is lower, but it's also gonna mean that the file size is lower. Um, and, and conversely, if you set it up higher, it's gonna mean that the quality of the video is better. Um, but again, the file size is just gonna be a bit larger. Um, so today I'm just going to leave it around 90, which is the defaults and just set it to that. Um, and then the final option is just around the preview page. Um, so basically when you export from Bannerify, you always get a little preview page, um, which is just an HTML file containing all of the exported banners. Um, and it's just a really easy way to upload that to a server or send that to a team member or a client. and they can approve uh, your banners based on this little overview of, of all the exports. Um, so this setting basically just turns on dark mode for that export. So if you have a set of banners that are gonna look better with uh, a dark background or a dark theme, uh, you can enable that. Otherwise it's gonna look like basically what it looks like in the Figma file, the background color um, is the same as whatever it is in, in Figma right now, which is this sort of light gray. Uh, so I'm just going to leave that setting turned off in this instance, but you can experiment with that if you'd like to. Okay, so now that we've set up our settings the way that we want to, um, all we need to do is click on this button called Export to WebM. So I'm going to click on that now. And what this is doing is it's actually going through uh, and playing each banner. So it's playing all of the animations for every banner. So I've got 11 banners in my case. And... 
it's playing through them in order to capture frame by frame uh, the animations and the playback for all of them. And once it finishes capturing the frames for each banner, uh, it's actually then using those frames to create a video file uh, for each one. And when it finishes up in a moment, it's gonna render these out into video files and it's gonna package them up into uh, a single zip file that you're gonna get as a download in just a moment. And then we can open that up and have a look at what's actually exported for us. Um, so it's fairly quick. It just depends on how many banners you do have and how long the timeline uh, for each of those banners are. And that's a rough indication of how long this export process will take. Um, so now it's zipping up our WebM files, we can see down here. Um, so very shortly, it's just gonna pop up and tell us it's done, uh, which is just done now. And you'll get a little download prompt, uh, which will let you rename the file if you want to. Uh, I'm just gonna leave it with the default, which is just today's date, um, the export format, and just letting us know it's come from Bannerify. So I'm gonna click on save and send that to my desktop. And that's the whole process. So it's let us know that the banners are ready and we can unzip those banners and basically use them however we want. So if I go down to my desktop now, you can see that I've got this zip file that it's just saved out for me. So all I need to do is double click on that and you'll get a little folder. If you open up the folder, you can see here, it's got all of our layers or all of our banners that we, that we set up in Figma. And if I open up the index.html file, so that just opens up the preview page in Chrome. So that's essentially playing uh, all of our banners in the browser in this little neat grid. And these are all videos. So you can see here, if I actually enable the controls, uh, these, are, these are videos that I can actually control the playback for. Um, and it's worth noting that this preview page I mentioned uh, is fluid and responsive. So if you do change the screen size or if somebody's viewing it on a different screen size, it will automatically adjust the layout of the banners in order to be optimal uh, for that screen size. So that's really neat. So we can see all of our banners basically exported as we wanted. Um, if you do wanna look at them individually, you can simply just drag uh, any of those into the browser and that will actually load up the video itself um, that you can just have a look at. Um, and it, well, obviously you can play, play back that video however you like, um, there's a little control bar here um, that pops up because I'm just viewing the video itself now, the video file. Um, so yeah, it's looking really smooth. This is a, a 30 frames per second video. So you, you should notice it's very smooth, uh, very seamless. And yeah, it's exported it just as I had expected. Um, so we can have a look at if any of those, it'll, it'll play through all of those. Um, and yeah, depending on your implementation of it, uh, when you upload this to your website or when you upload this to your advertising network or platform, uh, you should be able to, if you're using it on a website, um, you'll be able to loop that playback just by adding some inline uh, playback settings. So if you use a video tag and you put the autoplay attribute or if you put the, um, uh, the loop attributes in there, um, you, can, you can look up what those are like. Um, I actually do have them in the preview file. So if you open up that index.html file in a code editor or a text editor, um, you can actually see the video tags in there and you can just copy paste those and it'll be really simple. I can actually show you what that looks like now. So if we drag that index file into the code editor, I'm just using VS Code at the moment. Um, so you can see here that it's injected all the video tags for us and I've got the autoplay and loop uh, properties set on that. So that actually just causes the video to loop over and over on an infinite uh, timeline for as long as we need it to. Um, and that's why it's looping on that preview page, uh, which we just looked at a moment ago. Um, but yeah, it's really up to you what you do with the video. Um, it's totally your implementation of it. There's no, uh, yeah, there's no loop settings on the video themselves. So you can basically do whatever you want with it. Um, and you'll notice that these are in WebM. So WebM is a, a video format for the web. Um, but if you do need this video in a different format, uh, you could use uh, another tool like an exporter tool or a converter tool uh, that does convert video formats into different formats. So if you need this as a, 
uh, as an MP4 or if you need this as a different different file type for some reason. Uh, there are third-party tools that you'll be able to drag these files into and convert those into other formats. Um, but these are WebM files and they'll work on the web. So if you do need it just for uh, your website or if you do need it just for uh, advertising banners, then WebM should be fine. But if you want to use it for something that's not uh, on the web or something that's just needs a different file type, you'll be able to find a converter to convert these WebM files. Just Google uh, WebM to whatever format that you need and I'm sure something will pop right up. Okay, so that's the entire tutorial. As I mentioned, it's, it's really simple. It's just a one-click process uh, from Bannerify to export these video files from Figma. And again, assuming that you've already got those animations set up, uh, you can just keep exporting these as, as much as you want. So if you need to do uh, some animation changes and you want to export it again, or if you need to make some design updates or positioning updates in the banner, uh, you can just simply rerun the plugin, click that export button again, and the process that we just watched will get executed again. And you can just keep doing that as many times as you want uh, without needing any video software or uh, exporting those frames manually and then somehow exporting to a video. Uh, Bannerify will do all of that for you now. So yeah, if you've been looking for a way to export banners for uh, your website or banners for your uh, advertising platforms from Figma uh, to video or to WebM in this case, then uh, Bannerify now supports this along with a lot of other HTML export format options and also now supports GIFs. Um, which as I mentioned is in another tutorial and we also have a bunch of other tutorials on uh, every other export setting that it supports so HTML, uh, GSAP, um, Canvas, DoubleClick, AdWords, all of these different platforms. Um, you'll be able to find each of those tutorials on our YouTube channel if you'd like to view those as well. Um, so that's all I have for you today. Uh, I hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you've got something out of it. Um, if you want to take this back to your team or to your agency and give it a try, um, you can install the plugin and run it the way that we just looked at and hopefully you have some success with it. Okay, thank you as always for watching and we'll be back soon with more tutorials just like this one very soon.